This is a part of the process I don't normally show, but in case you're interested, to get a 3D print of this object, what I would do is first export this as an STL file. And I'm going to use the high poly one for 3D printing. I've already exported this, but once you have it, you'll open your slicer of choice. For the kind of printing that I do, and for the kind of printing that was really good for meshes like this, I personally prefer resin printers. And I use the software Cheetubox pretty much for all resin printing slicing. I'm going to be printing on a Edelgu Saturn 3. I'll just hit the import button and import my mesh. This is coming quite small, but we will just scale it up. This printer is quite large, so if I was to just scale to fit, it would be pretty huge. So I'm actually going to just check the scale here, and we will make it much smaller. Something more like this is about correct for the scale that I want. Now, this software is quite smart, and one important thing to do actually will be to hollow this model and I will hollow it so that it's not going to be totally solid with material. And this will help save some resin. So I'm going to hollow out this model, which this software is really good at handling complex meshes because it just goes layer by layer. So it is going to systematically hollow this and show us a preview. Here's the preview of the hollowing. And now we need to generate supports which this software also has a fantastic methodology for doing. And you just go into the support generator and you just hit plus all. This is going to systematically create a branching set of support systems. Which really isn't too bad. These supports are super easy to remove actually too. So when we go back here, all I need to do is hit slice. and it will have a preview of the print layers here, which you could scrub through. But at the top, you'll see how many grams of material, and how many milliliters of material, and the estimated price and time. So I'll just actually save that, and voila. You can just take that file to the 3D printer. Now, of course, for other types of 3D printers, this process will be slightly different.